The city of Youngstown now has a new contract with a different ambulance service. Negotiations ended with AMR and the city deciding to discontinue service. First News reporter Hannah Erdman is live downtown this morning with an in-depth look at what led to these decisions. Hannah. Yeah, it was last January that AMR was pleading to city council here in Youngstown that they needed help financially. Regional director at the time, Ed Powers, was saying, quote, the company was bleeding out money from services they were providing the city. Now, in the last half hour, I explained why this was happening, and this because they were doing a lot of Medicaid calls, which don't pay out as much. Now, because that contract has ended, emergency medical transport has stepped in. But let's take a look back at exactly what led up to this change. There are a lot of things going on from January all the way through December, but specifically we will take a look at September through December. Now in September, AMR announced that they were going to discontinue services through a letter to the city. AMR did give the city a 115-day notice to find new services, but hoped they could continue those negotiations until the end of the year. Then in November, AMR was asking for more money to stay in Youngstown than they were previously. In fact, it was nearly double at $1.8 million from what they initially asked. At the time, Mayor Tito Brown said the request was unreasonable. With less than one month left in the contract, the city did decide to enter a new agreement with emergency medical transport and will pay EMT nearly $4 million for a three-year contract. And because yesterday being New Year's Day, it was the first day EMT was in service. They said that it went pretty smoothly and they are looking forward to continuing to serve the city. They also said that they did hire in about 80% of AMR's previous staff and they are still hiring. Reporting live in downtown Youngstown, Hannah Erdman, First News This Morning.